Good morning. I'm Elaine Scarborough, and I want to introduce you to my friend. This is Frederick, and Frederick is a field mouse. Frederick lives in a family of five field mice. You know, we all live in groups. We live in a family, and we live in our church, and we also live in the community. So those are our three groups that we have. Well, Frederick's group is his family of five field mice. So in our family and in our church and in our community, we all have to think of ways that we can help. And some people are really good at singing. You know, like Ken, Mr. Ken is such a good singer. Well, I'm not a good singer. Some people are really good at playing the piano or another instrument. Mr. Lee has those talents. Well, I'm not good at that either. Some people are good cooks and some people are better at washing the dishes. Well, in this story, Frederick has some talents and the other field mice have talents too. So they are contributing to their family. As I read the story to you, I want you to think about how Frederick makes a difference in his family. I'm going to put Frederick right here while I read the book. This is the story of Frederick. Frederick by Leo Leone. And in this book, Leo Leone is the author and the illustrator. And that means that he wrote the words and he drew the pictures. In this book, he drew pictures and then he cut them out and glued them to pages to make the book's pictures. So I hope you'll enjoy the story and the pictures. Frederick by Leo Leone. the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. In that wall, not far from the barn and the granary, there was a chatty family of field mice. That's where they had their home. Chatty. Now there's a word, and that means that they were very talkative. So they had their home in the old stone wall, near the granary. A granary is where peat farmers stored their wheat and their corn and their other grains. But the farmers had moved away. The barn was abandoned and the granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They worked day and night, all except Frederick. They're working hard, but not Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work? They asked. I do work said Frederick. I gather the sun rays for the cold winter days. They're moving the corn, but not Frederick. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, and now, Frederick, I gather colors, answered Frederick simply for winter is gray. There he's gathering colors and the other field mice are hard at work gathering the nuts. And once Frederick seemed half asleep. Are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully. That means they didn't like what he was doing. But Frederick said, Oh no, I am gathering words, for the winter days are long and many, and we'll run out of things to say. 
They're gathering the wheat, and he's gathering words. The winter days came, and when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hiding in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. They're eating their nuts and their wheat and their berries, and they're all eating. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries, and the straw was gone. And the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall, and no one felt like chatting. They weren't talking anymore. They were cold. And then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They ask, there's not much food left now. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed up on a big stone. Now I send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel their golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice or was it magic? They closed their eyes. Frederick talked about the sun and they could feel the sun. They were getting warmer. And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously. That means they were a little bit, they were not sure about this. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And we, when he told him of the blue periwinkles and the red poppies in the yellow wheat and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had been painted in their minds. And there are the colors, the blue periwinkle, the red poppy, the yellow wheat, the green leaves, Frederick is telling them, and they can see the colors now. And the words, Frederick? Frederick cleared his throat. <clears throat> he waited a minute, and then, as if from a stage, he said, Who, sc who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four-leaf clover in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and like I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. And then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat, and winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. When Frederick had finished, they all applauded. That means they clapped, yay! But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Blushed. He took a bow and then he said shyly, I know it. He's so proud now. That's the story of Frederick by Leo Leone. Now, let's see, talk about Frederick for just a minute. Did Frederick help the other field mice in his family? They were gathering all the food for the winter. They gathered nuts and berries and wheat. Frederick didn't do any of that. 
But did, did Frederick help? He did help. Did Frederick work as hard as the other mice? Maybe he didn't work as hard, but he was helping. He helped in a different way from the other mice. He used his talents to encourage the other mice when the winter was cold and the food ran out. Did the other field mice in his family appreciate everything that Frederick did? No, at first they didn't. At first they did not understand. But then later they did appreciate it. When the winter was cold and the food had run out, they did appreciate it. So as we think about how we can help in our family and in our community and in our church, we need to think about what our talents are. You know, I can't sing and I can't play the piano and I can't run a camera like Mr. Don McLaren can do, but I can read you a story. So that in that way, I can use my talent. We all have different talents. So think about this week, how can you help in your family? How can you help your mommy and daddy? And how can you help in your church and in your community? Maybe you could call somebody that you know and you haven't seen in a while and just tell them how much you've missed them. That'd be a way to help. So let's all of us think about ways to help and appreciate all the ways that other people help. I hope you've enjoyed meeting Frederick, and I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you another time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.